is the sexiest man alive and we all know him as McDreamy. Patrick Dempsey has been lighting up our screens for decades, appearing in everything from Grey's Anatomy to Disney films. And now he's down under reopening the flagship Sydney boutique of watch brand Tag Hoya. I sat down with him for an exclusive interview. Welcome to Australia, mate. Thank you so much. Great to be back here. What do you like about coming to Sydney? The people. Everybody's, it's great, great sense of humor, really direct and honest and fun. We're a bit silly. Yes, and I appreciate that. But nobody that. takes themselves that seriously. Right, they take the piss out of everybody, which is good. So anytime I hear the accent, I smile, and I feel really happy. It was a beautiful afternoon to save lives, people. You've had this career, well, you are having this career, <laughs> that spans all of these different kinds of genres. Like, there is literally something for everyone. How do you choose what you want to do? Well, last year I did the Ferrari movie, yeah. uh, and I've been tracking that movie for a number of years. And of course, I love racing, and I love that period of, of racing. It, it takes place in 1957, the three months leading up to the Mille Miglia. So that was one thing. I just wanted to be a part of a nice racing movie with an incredible filmmaker, which was Michael Mann. And then I did a horror movie last year as well. <laughs> and I did that for my son because he loves that genre. Well, you are a real rev head. Like, you love things that go fast, don't you? Yes. What do you love about it? Um, I think it just clears your mind. You don't think about anything other than where you are and what you're doing. And I, that's what I like about it. And certainly the camaraderie and the challenge. Um, <clears throat> and it's nice to get a little scared every now and then. You know, what happened there? You know? <laughs> yeah. It's a meditation, I think, in many ways, because the speed is intense and focus required. You don't really think about anything else. Where do you go from here in your career? It feels like you've done so much already. There's a lot I haven't done as well, too. I think a lot of different directors I like to work with, different countries. I like to work over here a little bit more. I like being here. I think location and director and script. The next thing I'm doing is a psychological thriller little independent movie, uh, so I'll do that next, um, and we'll see. So when you do something like that, is that hard to sort of delve into? Do you have to sort of pre-warn everyone around you? Look, by the way, I'm, I'm probably going to be a bit crazy for the next few months while I'm shooting this. I like to be on location and away from home so I can focus 100% on the role and not be distracted. But now my kids love to read the scripts and they come in with really strong opinions. Like there are a few things I was offered and they were like, that's not what you should do next. And they have a, a good opinion about what I should do. And what do they think about coming out to Australia? My daughter's loving it. She yeah. loves it here, yeah. Yeah. Of course the temperature, she loves the, the water and the, and the sun. Prices are a lot better here than in the States. So it's really good. <laughs> my wife and daughter have been enjoying themselves. <laughs> <They'll> <laughs> a, make up for a little it. too much. <laughs> But they're helping the economy. Well, tell, tell me about the store that's opening um, opening tonight. It's a great place to go in and get a sense of the entire collection. And the one I'm wearing right now is very special. Um, it was um, 60 years ago, uh, Carrera with Tag Heuer, Jack Heuer created the, the Carrera watch and that was inspired by the Rodriguez brothers. Actually, it was a conversation he had in the pits at Sebring with their mother and father talking about the Carrera Pan Americana and that's how it started, as well as the connection with Porsche. Uh, the 9-11 started uh, 60 years ago as well in 1963. So please go to the boutique and check it out. I'm sold, I'm there. You do have teenagers, yes. you have the two sons and, and the daughter mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Um, what do they think when you, when you go out and you're doing these sorts of things and you named like the sexiest man alive? <laughs> like, how does that make them feel? Well, they laughed like, and they were dad. upset because they had their own opinion on who should be the sexiest man alive. Who did they think? Uh, I won't bring that up now because I got the title, so I'm just going to hang on to that. <laughs> <laughs> their favorites discussion. didn't make it. But what does that feel like when, you know, you're just sort of sitting at home and then someone calls you and says, oh, by the way, um, you, I thought it was a, that you're the yeah, sexiest Yeah, I thought it was a, a prank call, to be honest with you. I thought they were just making fun. I called my publicist and then they said, oh, you want to, they've, uh, they've asked if you'd be the sexiest man <laughs> alive for People Magazine. I'm like, come on, seriously, what's going on? Am I in trouble? Why are you calling me at this hour of the morning? <laughs> So it's flattering, it's fun, you yeah. take it too seriously. I'm surprised I'm still in the mix at this age. That's oh, great. like a fine wine. Well, I have um, a lot of makeup on. My wife's a makeup artist, so she just takes good care of me. Well, yeah. What does she think when she's like, yeah, of course, I know, that's why I married you. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she was happy. It's such a, a, a weird honor, you know. It's, it's just so like, strange. You know, it's not like specifically for your like acting, but it's like, oh, well, thanks. Everyone thinks I'm hot. This is good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm happy. Now can I get another job out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for well, the thank chat. You. Thank, thank you, you for waking up with today. It's a pleasure. Good morning. Good morning, indeed. Yeah. Ooh, dreamy. I, mean, I just felt hot watching it. was such a nice yeah. chat. He's such a lovely guy, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's just sweet. gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, and he, he had the, the watch on, and then he's like, here, try it on. I'll time the interview. Did you like, take he's it? really into it. Yeah, and then he's like, Brooke, <laughs> can I have a watch? And I was like, what watch? Oh, hey, hey. Lovely interview, Brooke. Chuck it up in a blazer. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?